What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for surprises such as the retro community chest? So you're saying our mail and mail is the retro community chest? Mail and mail. Mail and mail. Mail and mail. Mail and mail. So there's a little something interesting going on here. First of all, uh, great minds think alike and obviously Zach the Iowa retro gamer dad himself is one of the greatest minds to have had the same idea as we <laughs> <laughs> for real though the UK guys they were doing a little fun community box you know send a little play it forward action going on and when we wanted to do a similar idea Zach was already doing the same thing so he started up the retro community chest and this has already been getting some traction. Please check out Zach's channel, first and foremost. Awesome guy, always doing fun stuff. Then check out the first recipient, 8-Bit Glitch himself. Glitching out, enjoying the spicy peanut brittle. Oh yeah! <coughs> okay! Sean sent it on to the co-op of nerds, Fresh and Mary. So I can only assume this is who the retro community chest has come from. This is totally a surprise. We weren't expecting... Oh, no, no, no. We were not expecting this to get here. Well, right on top, obviously, this is for you. Yay, bubble wrap! Oh. Oh, wow, that was loud. <laughs> I was like... Cannon mortar fire going off. Ow! <laughs> Mop. So we do have a note. No. Nope. Nice typed up note, but it is signed. Do you nerd? You've been selected as the next recipient of the retro community chest. Bask in its glory. Why did we choose you two? I do not know. Your collection is so vast, you will probably already have most of the items contained within this chest. If so, we apologize, but trust that you will find a good home for it or trade it in for something real nice. <laughs> this new tradition was designed by Iowa Retro Gamer Dad based on the popular UK YouTube series Play It Forward Box. 8-Bit Glitch 79 sent us a massive chest that jiggled with video game goodness. For you, we decided to go with a firm chest that we really hope perks up your day. The rules are easy. Pick someone in the retro gaming community to send your own surprise chest to and pack up said chest and mail it to them. That's it. Have fun. Who doesn't love seeing a brand new chest unveiled right before their eyes? Speaking of great chests, ignore him. Mary will take it from here. Within this box contains several items from our game room that remind us of you, as well as a bonus item that Mary handmade exclusively for you. You two have always championed for our channel, expecting nothing in return. You're our great friends, role models, and inspirations. Wow. Damn, guys, come on. Here. Here. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Ah, that's better. We cannot wait until after COVID and we finally get to hang out. We are hoping that opportunity comes at Midwest Gaming Classic in November. Love, Fresh and Merry. P.S. If you open the... Rogue, you must eat the gum. Hashtag eat the gum. <laughs> see what you I love hashtag, hashtag eat the gum. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't make me. Don't make me. Don't make me. I guess it's about time to tear into this. Uh, I mean, I know that you've been admiring Mary's chest for a while, and I can't wait to get my hands on Fresh's package. So let's. Well. Well, we've got a game for the Nintendo Ooh, Switch. Ooh, Story of Seasons, Friends of Mineral Town. This looks really fun. It looks almost exactly like even down to the cartoon style of, of it. I love Moon. Harvest Moon Sp and Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley. Yes, I've loved all those games. So this should be super fun. Grow crops, raise animals, visit town, find your hobby, fall in love, and explore more. And I actually am in between games right now, so this oh, is perfect timing. Perfect timing, indeed. Hey, look, there's actually a booklet. What? What is that? <laughs> there's a booklet. You have to I, read your games? I don't know. Ooh, it's color. Nice. 
Holy crap. I have a you barely ever open a switch case <laughs> with a booklet in it. And look at the cute little inside. And the game love continues a freaking sealed game. Jurassic Ooh. Park Evolution. Um I do or love, something of a Jurassic Park. I love Park Jurassic Park. I like your dinosaurs. I, I was going do. to say dragons, but there, it's the same thing. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like they were. I feel like dragons are leftover dinosaurs that the medieval people saw and didn't know what to do with. <laughs> My favorite dinosaur is a plesiosaurus. Well, if if things get a little too rough with your Jurassic Park, you can always call in the guys from Home Front. Ooh, that's scary. Home is where the war is. I don't like that. I don't think I've ever played Homefront, but I have heard this name dropped time and time again. Yeah, this looks very familiar. I think I've seen this cover a lot. Well, it's not all new games. We're getting a little retro action. Ooh, Donkey Kong. Super Donkey Kong. On the Super Famicom. Boop, so it's boop, nice. Boop. A game that you don't nice. have to know Japanese yeah. to play because it's Donkey Kong Country. Exactly. And, not to make any of our Sega friends mad with that Nintendo entry. Earthworm Jim! <laughs> Here, let's wave it out in the cosmos so that they can smell the, the Sega. You know what the best part about Earthworm Jim is? Just Jim himself. Groovy! <laughs> <laughs> now this is cool. Coming from Co-op of Nerds. Uh, maybe something to do with that wall behind you? X-Men! Yes! Ooh, look, there's Psylocke and Cyclops. You know, that's something that's and always kind Night of funny. Crawler. There were Ooh, a couple Storm back there. of X-Men games, video games, where you could play as Psylocke. She was a very prevalent character in the comics, She's but not cool. in the cartoons. I think she's too scantily clad. Yeah. <laughs> See, yep. We can't have someone running around in a bathing suit. Come on. Handheld classic. What do we got? What do we got? Tetris. If you had a Game Boy, <laughs> chances are you had Tetris. <laughs> Did you ever do that with the square? I would do it all the time. I would just flip it. Just because. <laughs> oh. Oh, cute. I love these. So that cute! That is a great yes. plush mushroom. That is a great one. I love it, the hanging ones. It almost has a like a velvety texture yeah. to it. And Maybe we can hang that off the barrel at some point. So off we can... the barrel, or uh, as we always like to say, whenever you have like key ring stuff. Perfect for Christmas trees. Yeah, they make excellent ornaments. I'm in love <gasps> with this. Oh my gosh! You guys. That it is, is friggin' adorable. Dream catcher. So you got the star, the power-up star there. And so then uh, we've got some hand-painted fire flower mushroom and then the rock's feather. Oh, that, that is, is so awesome. clever. I mean, as much as I love getting games and getting goodies, uh, when it comes down to the handmade, one-of-a-kind stuff, yes. that's always my favorite. By the way... Probably one of my more favorite power-ups because I love Super Mario World, so I loved getting the cape. And even in the original Super Mario Kart, I love getting the feather in the battle arena. <laughs> I would always jump into uh, the water on a certain stage to where the eggs couldn't hit you. I always like the, the fire flower because when I was a kid I called it spits. Because it always looked like Mario was spitting. Because, you know, his hand would come up like this. He's aiming. I know he's aiming, but it, it always like came out of his mouth and it, and it made that... Boop! noise so it sounded like he was spitting so i always called it spits oh, we, oh got. we got a cooperative sleeve nice so another great piece of work yes. my video game dust sleeves we love collecting we do. The community sleeves like this and you guys are going to have to tell us what game you want yeah. in your sleeve Come pick your game what do we have here Oh, Boris Karloff, Frankenstein, the Legacy Collection. Nice. We're not monsters, though. We like to go through horror movies ourselves around Halloween time. Mm -hmm. We usually pick a franchise or a series, try to go through all the movies. Sometimes for the good, like, uh, you know, of course, Freddy, Jason, and Michael Myers movies. Yep. Sometimes for the long haul, like the Amityville horror movies. There's like 15 of them. There's a lot. And they're not done. <laughs> What else we Speaking got? Speaking of classics. Oh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Nice. How much time 
did any of you guys spend with either of the Knights of the Old Republic, one or two? I'm scared to get into games like this. <laughs> yeah. Because there's a little bit of non-ending that goes on there. Fallen Angels. So it looks, it looks like, like a, a serial killer. Game. Here's what's so cool about Fresh and Mary. They're basically our doppelgangers. They are, except they have the cool table that I've always wanted. They love video games. They love comics, especially Marvel, and especially X-Men stuff. They love toys. They love horror movies. And they love tabletop games. Best thing about having card games like this, easy to take with you anywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, we love games like this size mm -hmm. because you can throw it in your purse or your backpack or whatever and take it with you to the coffee shop. We've actually gone to a couple of bars and had people come over, see us playing like some tabletop card games. And they're like, hey, uh, do you mind if we watch? And we're like, you can actually sit in if you would like. Mm -hmm. We always so try to encourage people. Sydney, Australia in the 1920s is rife with crime, sly grog, prostitution, cocaine, theft, and fraud. Razor Gang rules the streets, but you, the police, have not been idle. The holding cells are overflowing, and now you must work as a team to bring together the evidence needed to convict each suspect. Fallen Angels poses a unique deduction challenge illustrated with real suspect photos in the Jazz Age of Sydney. Contains 54 poker cards, rules, and background information booklet. That's going to be fun to check out. All right. Well, clearly, this is the part that talks about <laughs> We're going to have to eat the gum. Because the last two items... Oh, nice. That's what she meant by if we open the rogue, we have to eat the gum. Here's the fun thing, though. I actually got that rogue figure for you was, quite a while it, ago. You did this and a gambit were the very first action figures you ever bought me. So I actually have this open. So I was actually going to say, I'm going to shock everyone and not open this. What? And leave what? it on the card because I have one opened. And I do that. If I already have a figure, but I like it enough that I want it on the card, I'll leave it on the card. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we'll still eat the gum. This is, a, this is a great Gambit figure, by the way. Yes. So his coat has a lot of great detail, and it's flailed out. I always love that. The long coat gives you like the feeling of a cape, but it's not as obtrusive or weird on the streets as a and cape. And it keeps you warm. But he's got those mega abs. His face looks great. He's got that shadow. Of course, he's got his cards with his action throwing. <laughs> so this is awesome. Rogue was always my favorite and Gambit was always your favorite. But yet, in the same sense, Gambit was my favorite male X-Men, whereas Rogue was your favorite female X-Men. So it was one of those things that was like, we were so perfect for each other. All right, well, I'm not going to open it. Gambit, remember it. But we're still going to hashtag eat the gum. Why you got to do this to me? Because it's fun. See, this is the part I like. The, the tattoos. tattoos. These are great ones. Like Link in his orange armor. Who doesn't love Link and his orange armor? <laughs> well, before before we do this, I would like to say, first of all, thank you, Fresh, Mary, the Co-op of Nerds, for thinking of us and sending the retro community chest on to us. We really, mm -hmm. really loved getting a close-up, hands-on time with your chest. So thank you so much for that. <laughs> Um, it's a great, great package, and we're just going to admire it, the, the bulkiness of it, the heft of it. Um, no, seriously, though, so many fun things in here. You guys know us too well with the games, obviously the X-Men figures, you know, the horror movie love, the tabletop love, uh, freaking love, that is love, amazing. love the Dreamcatcher. Thank you I, so I, much. As much as everything else in here, I think that's my favorite. <laughs> Honestly, you probably could i tell you what, you could have sent this and this, and I think we would have just been so happy. So, see, Rush, you, you could have, like, downgraded the box. 
even though Mary wanted to, to up the game and he wanted to go the opposite way. <laughs> but also a huge shout out to Zach for starting all of this over here in the States and for everyone keeping it going. Thank you so much, Sean, for, for passing it along as well. And, and again, the, the peanut brittle. I'm sorry, I, I never get tired of watching that reaction. Wow. Um, I need to go take care of this. Woo! Say Big Glitch 79. And I'm glitching out. Whoa. At this point, what we have to do is figure out who we're going to send the box to next. So what we will do is get a box, fill it up with some goodies, ship that out. Once they receive it, and uh, if they're so kind as to do a video, then we will let you guys know who we sent it to. And then in that video, there will be a link to their unboxing. Mm -hmm. So, all right. Ladies first. Should we... Uh, Share it. Let's get it right up there. That's not gum sound. Well, guys, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. If you want to see what else is coming to do, you nerd. Hashtag eat the gum. It's a power. Can you hear that? <laughs> gum doesn't sound like that. <laughs> There's no gum left. It's, yeah, no. It's just like. Am I just. It, it did that powdery evaporation thing. That's not cool. <laughs> we didn't even get to open anything, like toy wise. Oh. Tastes like medicine. Mmm. Dear love is like bad medicine. <laughs> uh. All right, I believe you have something to say about the retro refresh. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Don't, forget. <clears throat> Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we've got merchandise over there. Hit us up on the retro refresh. That's what I was going to say. Yep. Should I keep this going? <laughs> and remember, if we like it. We neared it. Don't throw up on camera. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Hi, nerd there's some left. No, no, there's <laughs> not. No, no. <laughs> it's okay. She's got, she's out. got punching action. <laughs> Life don't get much better than this. Life don't get much better than this. Oh wait, there's, there's two packages. We don't need to eat that cup though. We already ate it. And there was a loose <laughs> BS oh, game. No. Sorry, it almost got lost in the shuffle. Sonic Classic Collection. Nice. nice. Very nice. Uh, I always love collection carts of any kind. So anytime I can have multiple Sonics in one place, that's awesome. Just uh, stick that right there. Would you hurry up? I have a, I have a Switch game to go play. Don't, uh, don't charge that up. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye, nerdlings. Game dad? <laughs> Iowa Retro.